back to my channel. Today you are going with me on a little vlog which is da -da -da, the first vlog on this channel and we are going to my first ever major market as a vendor. So this market is happening in my local area, a couple towns away from here, and we are going to be selling a variety of products like stuffed animals, cards, scrunchies, tote bags, jewelry, you name it. I have put a lot of work into this. I started working on the sale way back in December of 2023, and all of this work is finally climaxing in the next two days, which is how long the sale is. Now, the point of this video is to take you along with me. First, we're gonna cover the inventory and everything I made, and then I'm gonna take you with me both days, and you're gonna see how well I did. So, that being said, if you're new here, I love so traveling and eating food all over the world and I really hope you enjoy today's video. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so I made a variety of stuffed animals like I said. Now out of these stuffed animals I made stingrays, dinosaurs, dolphins, large whales, mini whales, and I think that's it. And in those, each one took a different amount of difficulty. So the hardest out of all of them was by far the long dinosaurs because they had the most curves and also the smallest seams. Um, besides that, I made a buttload of scrunchies. I made loads and loads and loads of tote bags which, by the way, didn't really amount to anything. Um, but I also made some really pretty bows, and I made these mystery jewelry boxes. I made so many cute things. Jeez, I wish you were there. Hopefully in the future, maybe when I'm back in the States, um, I can advertise enough, or maybe this channel will have grown enough that uh, I can invite you guys to come visit. I would love that. That would be so much fun. Anyway, um, moving on. I didn't gain a lot of footage uh, while I was making these stuffies, mainly because I was fighting a little bit of a burnout. But that being said, besides all of the fabric jewelry related things I made, I also made loads of cards and I also made a bunch of little gift tags. And then I also made these really cute button wax melts that really didn't take off at all at my last sale. So I was hoping these were gonna do okay. Um, but besides that, that was the whole inventory. Okay guys, we are about to head to the venue where the sale is going to be happening and unfortunately I don't think I'm going to be able to have time to show you how I set it up but I'll show you what it looks like once it's set up and then I'll talk you through all the things I'm selling. Okie dokie people, this is how our little stall turned out and I've got to say this is pretty stinking cute. This is prior to me bringing the tablecloth down by those tote bins. Anyway, um, I have my little coat rack, my earrings, my mystery boxes. These are what the stuffies look like. There's definitely a few things I'm going to bring back tomorrow just to spice things up. And that pretty much makes the end setup. So we have put everything inside the building and we're now officially locked out for the night because of course my family has to be the last people outside of the building. Uh, but first thing tomorrow is a sale and I am really nervous so we'll see how this goes but I will meet you back first thing tomorrow and we get to do this thing. So toodaloo and peace out for the night. day guys and um this is the outfit for the day i think it's kind of cute kind of comfy we have a little bit more setup but the sale officially starts at 10 this morning and it's currently 8 53 so we're a little bit behind but i think we'll be okay anyway we have about 10 minutes till we're leaving the house i will meet you guys at the sale venue so see you there bye looks like officially now that we've decorated everything and we had about 30 minutes prior to the sale starting to set up here is what the back of the stall looked like pretty tight pretty cramped but it's gonna be our little nook for the next eight hours let's do this people <laughs> you got that right people we are open for business 
Now the plan here is that I will update you guys about every hour and a half to two hours just to tell you how business is going and to see if there's any updates. Here's what our little stall looks like. Still pretty cute. My sister ended up making two of the dinos kiss. Super cute, right? Anyway, I will meet you back in the next couple hours. Okay guys, so the sale has hit the three hour mark and I am in the vendor break room just cause it's a little bit awkward to film outside with the rest of the vendors. Um, but so far the sale's going pretty well. I've sold about five different stuffed animals and a couple jewelry pieces. I would say the foot traffic's been a little bit slow today, so I'm hoping it'll pick up tomorrow. Um, but anyway, I will meet you back in a couple more hours and I'll give you another update. But uh, that's how it's going so far. I'm waiting on my mom for lunch. It's like quarter to two in the afternoon, so my sister and I are pretty hungry. Oh, by the way, if you noticed, I am sharing a stall with my younger sister who has made a bunch of candles and soaps and stuff. Anyway, that's the update for now and I'll meet you back later. Here's what the foot traffic looked behind my coat rack. I had my camera sitting there just to show you a little bit of what the sale looked like in real time. Hey guys, it's been an hour and a half since the last check-in with you guys and we haven't really sold anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you on a little tour, show you some of my favorite stalls and then uh, I will put you back into time-lapse mode to uh, see how the rest of the day goes. Now I'm going to go ahead and put you guys back into time-lapse mode to show you the next couple hours. Hi guys, it's been another two hours and we have about 30 minutes left for the sale day. I did sell a couple more dinosaurs and three more stingrays, but I still have a decent amount of inventory. Business has been kind of slow today, if I'm being honest, which is a little bit frustrating. Um, but hopefully it will pick up tomorrow because it's the after church rush. Uh, but anyway, that's your little update for you. And I'll show you what the stall looks like. I've reworked it a couple times over the last couple hours. And I will meet you back once the sale is over for the day. All right, see you then. Here's our little updated stall. We added a couple bows, added a couple more kissing dinos. Okay guys, it is the end of the sale day and this is what our stand currently looks like. But now we're gonna go ahead and head home for the night and then we will meet back here tomorrow morning and do day two. We are now back home for the night and goodness gracious am I exhausted. <laughs> it has been a long day. It's been an okay day as far as sales go. I mean, it's a little bit less than I was hoping, but you never know with these kind of things. Um, but interestingly enough, I actually got a custom order from one of the vendors who was near our stand and she requested for me to make a Loch Ness monster similar to the dinosaurs I'm making because um, I made a dinosaur unintentionally looking like the Loch Ness Monster, which ended up selling pretty quickly. Um, but she wanted it without a tail because one of her favorite characters is like this Loch Ness Monster looking character in a video game called Apex. The goal for me is to recreate this character, so to speak, with the pattern I already have, but adapt it so it does not have a tail. Um, I'm not sure if I should make it tonight because I am pretty beat, but... I also have a little bit of time. Um, the sale doesn't start till 11 tomorrow morning, so I don't know. We'll see. But I did want to show you the email because I feel all Little Miss Cool and official. This is my first business email I've ever gotten in relation to a sale or into anything I've ever made. So uh, let me go ahead and show you it. Okay, guys. So here's what the email looks like. And this is the character she wants me to recreate. Now, if you do notice, it has a zipper in the back. However, I'm probably just going to make it without the zipper. 
anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the pattern pieces out, try to sew it together, and see if I can get it to her tomorrow, so I don't have to push this off too far past the sale date. Uh, but anyway, that's all I have for today, and I will meet you back here tomorrow. Good morning everyone, it is day two of the sale and this is the outfit I'm wearing. I thought it was super cute and cottagecore themed because I'm trying to match it with kind of the whimsical vibes of my stall. Uh, but anyway, the plan for today is to first get breakfast and then we're going to head to church because we are able to go to a service before the sale actually starts because it starts at about 11 this morning. Um, but before that, last night I told you I got a custom order and I ended up finishing it. However, I still need to sew up the side seam and, um, upon further talking with my parents and just reviewing the inventory, I decided to make three extra, um, of the long dinosaurs just because they sold pretty well yesterday and I thought that it would be kind of fun to have a couple more just because they're really cute. That being said, I haven't stuffed them yet, so I'm probably gonna have to stuff them in the 10 minutes uh, that we drive to church. Super excited, hoping today's sales are slightly better than yesterday's. Okay guys, so we are at the sale venue for the second day now and it is super empty this morning, probably because a lot of people are going to church or are just wanting to sleep in. Um, but anyway, now we're gonna go ahead and readjust my table a little bit compared to yesterday and then we will start the market for the day. But it's super empty looking. Hey guys, sorry about the background noise, but we have about 45 minutes till the end of the sale and today's been pretty slow, which is why I don't have a lot of video footage, um, but I will fill you in once the day is over as far as how much we sold. Um, anyway, see you once it's over. Okay guys, so the sale day is officially over and the staff room is actually closed so I can't film in there but I just wanted to let you know that we have put most of our stuff away and we are about to head home. Hi guys, we are done with the sale and all the stuff is in the back seat. That's my younger sister back there. She shared a stall with me. So, um, I will cover a little bit of lessons learned, stories when we get back to the house. Um, but I would say we did pretty decent for the sale. Um, today we did actually make a lot of friends with several of the vendors and there is a sale coming up in about five weeks that we may participate in. I'm probably not going to do a vlog for it because it's super busy. Um, but anyway, yeah, so we are completely done and both of us are exhausted. I have about five weeks to accomplish a bunch of projects I'm trying to get done before we go to Spain and Morocco. After that, there is prom season and I am making my prom dress, so that is going to be a highly anticipated video, I'm hoping. Um, and then we have a bunch of projects afterwards. That was a massive fail. Hi guys, we are back from the sale and it has been a slam dunk busy day. So I wanted to take a couple moments before I wrap this video up to talk about the pros and cons of this market and some of the little life lessons and stories I got along the way. So first and foremost, um, I realized about halfway through today that none of my tote bags were going to sell at all. Uh, so that was a pretty big disappointment, um, because I spent about two and a half weeks, probably garnered about 24 to 48 hours worth of work, uh, that kind of went to waste a little bit. Uh, but we have a positive there because we are hopefully going to get into a sale, uh, located actually a couple villages away, and, um... Hopefully, I will have an opportunity to sell my stuff there instead. Uh, that being said, another downside, I'm pretty disappointed because all the stuff I made that I was expecting to sell wasn't sold, so that kind of stinks. Um, but 
as far as the things that did go well, um, I sold lots of the long dinosaurs. I sold lots of the stingrays, most of the mini whales, a couple dolphins, and um, one of the mystery boxes. Overall, I got about $200, which is okay. I mean, I was hoping to get about 500 bucks based on the inventory that I brought with me. Uh, but that being said, I'm hoping to make up the difference in this upcoming sale. Now, um, with some stories. So, I had a little bit of drama. I'm not gonna lie. There was this stall checking out our stall so to speak, um, on day one, and it was ran by a mother and two daughters. And throughout the day, there were about 20 different times where they either came by our stall or they picked through the inventory that my sister and I had. Now, this kind of irked me because I had gone over to their stall once early in the morning, right after the sale had started, just to check out one of their stuffies. They sold, like, crocheted stuffies, and I'm a sucker for crochet. So I was super excited, just wanted to see what the prices were in case I bought something later on. Well, I'm guessing this somehow ticked them off in a way that I didn't know, because they ended up taking or attempting to take some of my service later on down the road and I'll explain why in a minute. So they did end up buying one of my dinosaurs uh, later on in the day. Sorry about the background noise. It's been a bit crazy around here. Um, they did end up buying one of my dinosaurs, uh, but the evening of the sale, I actually had a different vendor request a custom dinosaur. I got home from the sale, super exhausted, super tired, ended up making it Smooth sailing from there, brought in the couple dinosaurs I spent making, even though I was plum tuckered out the next morning. Seriously, this morning I woke up, I was exhausted. Um, brought them in, did the final touches, a couple of them needed stuffing and seams on the side. Was about to give the dinosaur to the woman when this stall decided to give her the exact replica of the dinosaur she custom requested made out of crochet. Now, I don't know if they just overheard us. I don't know. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and just say that she told them earlier in the day that she was looking for a dinosaur of these dimensions. But long story short, I was kind of shell-shocked, okay? I'm not a very petty person, and I thought it was kind of me to go over and check their stall out and just see they had cute stuff. I mean, come on. I like cute stuff, right? So I was flabbergasted, to say the least. Um, my mom and I ended up working the deal out, and the lady who had requested the custom order was extremely sweet about it. I ended up buying one of her things later on in the day, and she actually is going to help my sister and I out with the sale coming up in the next couple weeks. So it ended up turning out well. I don't think I'll ever know exactly what the crochet stall thought about me or my sister's work, inventory, etc., but the story did end up with a pretty good ending, if I do say so myself. Um, anyway, besides that, I will say that next time I will make sure to bring more stuff to do because my sister and I sat there for about eight hours and we were pretty exhausted and didn't have a lot to do and that kind of influenced being discouraged, kind of grumpy, you know, moods, pretty much. But that being said, I would say the sale went pretty well for our first time. I mean, there's so many learning lessons you could bring out of this. Uh, and a little bit of drama. Didn't expect that one there. Uh, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for joining me on this little journey. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned a little bit. And I probably will not be doing a vlog for the next sale, but I will do a couple short shorts on the inventory, try to make them a little bit aesthetic. Um, but anyway, oh, I forgot. Okay, so I have so many new videos coming out in the next couple weeks, but guess who got asked to prom? I've always wanted to get asked to prom. Okay, it's not official yet, but I know who's asking me if that counts. But anyway, I have a prom date and I am making my prom dress, so I am so pumped for the next couple months um and i hope you guys are excited too for any new videos that are coming out i have so much exciting stuff i love doing stuff on this channel and i love all my subscribers so if you enjoyed this please like subscribe or share it and um check in with me sometime soon in the future okay guys that's all i have for you today Bye bye